Yesterday was a very special day at Neverland because something like a hundred children came to the park and used the entire place. They were not charged any money, they were not given any restrictions, they were not told where they could or couldn't go, they were just told by you, the owner, to play and enjoy Neverland. What does that make you feel when children, groups of children, come to Neverland and enjoy the facilities? How do you feel? Um, number one, I, I've done this kind of work for many, many, many years. Even when I was a little kid, I did. And uh, I was always told that true charity is you give from your heart without waving a flag, you know? And uh, I feel like I won God's smile of approval. I feel, I really do. Afterwards, I feel so pure and good inside. I feel happy. I really do. And uh, I like that feeling. It's like taking a really nice, good shower, you know? I love it, and I love making them happy. I love seeing them smile. If I can achieve that, I think I've done a wonderful thing, you know? I love it. Tell me about Paris and Prince. Are you happy with the way they're growing up? Yeah, they have fun. They laugh all day, play, you know, cuddle, say, I love you, I love you too. They're wonderful children. Your relationship with your children is spectacular. I love them. <laughs> and in fact, it, it almost makes me weep when I see you with them because mm -hmm. your interaction with them is just so natural, so loving, I so love caring. Them. Thank you so much. And everybody who ever comes into contact with you knows that. I'm crazy. I'm a diver. I mean, I'm crazy about it. And I tell them. I look into their eyes every day. I make sure I do it. I say, look at me. I say, I love you very much. In the eyes. What they actually say to you is they love you and you say I love you more. That's yeah. what you say every say, single time. That, right? That's your phrase and I've heard it. Phrase. I've heard it once. I've heard it a million times. You have your own children now. Yeah. Do they prove an inspiration to you? Of course. Of course, every day. Just explain how much they mean to you. Uh, the stars, the moon, the universe, what all children do, not just mine, I'm not territorial. I've never been territorial, like, these are my children. The world has to worry about their problems and their children. I've always felt that it's, it's, it's you know, it's my responsibility as well to take care of the others, you know, as well as my own. That's why I take my children to the hospitals, too. I do as many hospitals as I do concerts, you know. And I don't expect the press to print it, but they don't want to print it, you know. I reach out, and I've done it for years, many years. I take the toys, and, you know, I pack up everything, and I surprise them, you know, and they're so happy about that. They were very, very happy yesterday. Now, one of the things that you want to do, and obviously at the moment it's a secret, but you, you, you have a vision for, a vision for something very special called an international children's holiday. Yeah. Tell me about that vision. My dream. We have Mother's Day, we have Father's Day, but we don't have a children's day. And it's so needed for a children's holiday. Um, and I, and I, my vision is to see this celebrated all over the world. You know, a day where people can, uh, you know, when they wake up, I see it as a holiday. It has to be a day off from school, but where the father or the mother say to the child, I love you. Where, would you like to go to the park today, to the toy store, to the beach, uh, you know, um, to the movies? What would you like to do? If we just had that one day, if I had that one day as a child growing up, my relationship with my father would be totally different. And I think children today, a lot of the crimes we see in the schools, you know, the outbreak of, you know, the problems with guns and everything, I think it's an outcry of, for attention, ne neglect from neglect. They need love. They need to be held. They need to know that somebody care. They really do. 
And that one day will make a big difference. It really will. Michael, why do you think you are qualified to call for an international children's holiday? Why? Well, it's been a dream of mine for a very, very long time. And I think um, there's not, there has not been enough um, outcry for the rights of children. And, uh, and I feel that, to answer your question, I feel I'm, I'm qualified, not saying I'm the God is the Savior or whatever, but nobody else is doing anything about it. We have Mother's Day, Father's Day, we don't have a Children's Day. You know, and uh, that's very important. That's our future. And I love them to pieces. And I want, I want to fight more for them to be the voice of the voiceless, you know. One of the things that we're going to do is go to Africa, a country where, in a region of Africa, some children don't reach seven out of, sorry, four out of seven children in a particular region don't reach their fifth birthday mm. because of AIDS. Mm. <clears throat> what can you do for those children by having an international children's holiday? Those kind of children in Africa? Oh man, you could bring a lot of joy to a child. And within just an hour, you know, I've seen dying children light up with joy. I've seen children who have been pronounced um, a week to live. They told me they have cancer all over their body. And I said, let me take care of that child. Just give them a little time with me, you know? And um, they've come to Neverland, hang out. We've had a lot of chemotherapy. They're like bald-headed, no eyelashes, no eyebrows, totally ghostly. And cancer has spread it all over their body. But with just a little love and a little caring, I have seen kids totally turn around where you can't find any cancer at all in their body. They've gained their hair back, uh, their lashes, their eyebrows. Um, I think there's some amazing things through the power of love and prayer. I've, I've done it a lot of times. I'm not trying to say I'm Jesus Christ. I'm just saying we just should, you know, give a little more attention to the power of love and caring, you know, it's very important, it's very powerful.